Hi, this is Mohit Suri. Hi, this is Mithun here. And you're watching us on Bollywood, Bollywood Hangama. Hangama. Hi guys, my name is Urmin and welcome to Bollywood Hangama. कुछ दोस्ती ऐसी होती है ना जो आपके लिए हमारे लिए हम सबके लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होती है अब वो दो दोस्त हैं जो एक साथ मिले हैं लेकिन उनके काम करने की वजह से हमें लाइफ में म्यूजिक ही म्यूजिक मिलता है वेल टुडे आई हैव टू सच पीपल विद मी टू सच फ्रेंड्स मोहित सूरी एंड मिथुन हाय गाइस हाउ यू आर डूइंग हाय एंड थैंक यू सो मच दिस इज द वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इंट्रोडक्शंस आई हैव एवर हर्ड अबाउट ourselves haan, i think haan. and thank Correct. you so much for being friends with 18 years my god you have yes. come up to legal 19 age now yeah 19 <laughs> now 18 to release in the to the world but i think we were working on it a year before a year that, before, i think yeah. yeah how did you all meet i still remember it like it was yesterday we just abhi hum log baat kar rahe the ki je 18 saal ho gaye pata hi nahi laga kab nikle jyada hum log mahada i think wo एक बैक रोड वो जहाँ पर जहाँ बहुत स्टूडियोज होते थे इनके फादर और मुकेश जी ने बहुत काम किया था पास्ट में ऑन फिल्म्स लाइक आशिकी एंड दिल है के मानता नहीं एंड हेड मुकेश जी हैड लॉट ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट फॉर इस फादर और मैं अपनी पहली पिक्चर बना रहा था एंड भट्ट साहब मुझे हमेशा कहते थे दर योर यंग आई वॉज आई वॉज ट्वेंटी 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 वन ईयर्स ओल्ड और यू आर यंग यू शुड वर्क विद यंगस्टर्स एंड आई वॉज वर्किंग विद अ वेरी सीनियर म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर फॉर दैट फिल्म पर uh, कुछ गाने थे जो मुझे अपने तरीके से बनाने थे तो मैंने मुकेश जी को कहा था मुकेश जी भी ढूंढ रहे थे लकली नरेश जी मुकेश जी से मिले एंड उन्होंने कहा कि यूल यू शुड मेक माय सन मीट योर सन तो आई वाज आई लाइक मुकेश जी सन तो मुकेश जी ने कहा ऑफ कोर्स वी शुड और मुझे याद है उस वक्त भी Uh, I don't know whether he remembers, but ये background score कर रहा था कोई hmm. picture का मिथुन दिस इज मोहित ही इज अ डायरेक्टर एंड इनके फादर नेटिव और ये मुकेश जी है मिथुन ने सर ये सर थैंक यू सर और वापस अपने काम पे लग गया था यू नो ही डेंट इवन गिव एनी अटेंशन बिकॉज ही वॉज सो फोकस्ड टू इज वर्क और एक्चुअली वो ही बात थी आई थिंक विच अट्रैक्टेड मी टू मिथुन के मुकेश जी उस वक्त यू नो दे ऑलवेज नोन फॉर दियर म्यूजिक एन गिविंग यू कम एज अ चांस एंड मैंने देखा है कि बहुत सीनियर म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर्स भी अपना काम छोड़ छाड़ के गाना बनाने के लिए अक्सर लोग टी सर्टिफिकेट खरीद लेने आते थे और गाना बेच के जाते थे इट वॉज दैट काइंड ऑफ वाइब इन विशेष फिल्म दैट टाइम ओके बट मिथुन वॉज सो फोकस्ड टू इज वर्क एंड वॉज जस्ट डूइंग हिज थिंग एंड हिज फादर से लेट दीज यंगस्टर्स बी अलोन उस टाइम मिथुन इतना बोलता नहीं था सडनली मुझे शादी की फील दे रहे हाँ, हाँ, ऐसा कुछ है है रिश्ता बनने जा रहा एक्चुअली यार टू थिंक अबाउट इट लेट बी बी अलोन तो फिर मैं मिथुन जा अभी भी उनका स्टूडियो है मैं उधर गया था उस वक्त इट वाज अ वेरी डिफरेंट कैन एनवायरमेंट एंड आई सैट विद मलोन ऑन कपल ऑफ थिंग्स एंड आइडियाज दैट वी हैड वेरी फ्यू पीपल नो के द पाकिस्तानी सॉन्ग विच वॉज बोल हमें वो बातें एन आदत वो एक्चुअली डन बाई मिथुन क्या हो रहा था कि वो गाना एक रॉक गाना था एक इंडिपेंडेंट इंडी म्यूजिक गाना था उसमें वो डेप्थ और इमोशनलिज्म जो जो इमोशन डालना था टू मेक इट सिनेमेटिक फॉर अ फिल्म और मैं खुद बाईस साल की उम्र में एक सिंगल लड़का एक जहर वॉज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स सब्जेक्ट डेल्ट विद यू नो अ मैन हुज गोइंग थ्रू अ डिवोर्स इन कान गेट ओवर हिज वाइफ ना ये शादी शुदा कोई पास कोई था भी नहीं लाइफ में वो टाइम पे तो टू गेट दैट अमाउंट ऑफ डेप्थ आई वाज नॉट सरप्राइजिंगली बहुत सीनियर लोग कर नहीं पा रहे थे एंड आई रिमेम्बर फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट नोट उसका स्क्रैच बनाया पहले मिथुन ने ही हैड पुट द आलाप ऑफ द सिंगर एंड बिफोर द सिंगर वॉज दिन इज ओन वॉइस ही हैड पुट द आलाप सोलो which was like a cry that the man felt and that was the alap that you hear in bola me o baatein title track you know that uh, you know that the i mean atif obviously came and made it much better and changed it but the, to set the foundation ke you need to start the song with the man yearning crying mm. uh it's just picked up the whole song and even the 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 beat the tan 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 just to start us time gaane aise shuru nahi hua karte the they were 
they used to start very loud and they used to start very out there but that's a risk that you must have also taken no jaise mohit ne kaha that you know to start with that with that alap hmm. and again you know to just give it all ki dekhte hain kyunki mere bhi hai us waqt risk tha nothing to lose us waqt pata hi tha jo sahi hai wo kar rahe the apne humko sahi matlab sahi galat ka bhi koi andaza nahi tha mujhe sirf itna yaad hai ki मोहित से मिलने से पहले मैंने काफ़ी मतलब संगीत ही मेरे लिए सब कुछ था मेरी एक मेरी तैयारी थी और एक जुनून था मुझे कि और मेरे मेरे पास एक आवाज़ थी आवाज़ मतलब एक क्रिएटिव आवाज़ थी कि मेरा जो म्यूज़िक है मेरे फादर से बहुत अलग था और मेरा एक पर्सपेक्टिव था तो वो एक हिचकिचाहट थी लेकिन जब मैं मोहित से मिला आई थिंक इसलिए मेरे डैड चाह रहे थे कि मैं एक, एक हम उम्र डायरेक्टर के साथ काम करूँ क्योंकि जब मैं इनके साथ मिला तो इन्होंने एक ऐसा एनवायरनमेंट क्रिएट किया क्रेडिट टू हिम वर आई कुड बी माय सेल्फ एंड आई फाउंड द कॉन्फिडेंस जैसे आप पूछ रहे हैं ना कि वॉज इट अ रिस्क ही गेव मी द कॉन्फिडेंस की टोल नी मतलब तुझे जो ठीक लगे तो कर मैं आके कल सुन लूंगा प्ले मी वॉट एवर यू फील इज गुड तो कोई बंदिश नहीं देर वॉज नो प्रेशर एंड ही नेवर अलाउड एनी अदर कॉरपोरेट उस टाइम पर था नहीं लेकिन एनी अदर layers to reach the studio hmm. that way he is always even till today baki duniya mein kya chalta hai he never let it he is always my shield so that give me the confidence jiski wo baat kar raha na hmm. just this thing on to you no this was not then the original this was not there in fact when the when the band members and our atman all came they, they they started putting that in their performances after that this this was very individual and i mean or a brief ko samajhna wo bhi i think was 19 years old hmm. and to samajhna ki the man is lonely but he is yearning he is screaming from inside he is putting up a straight front but he is disturbed from inside but look at the fact that you know how you are you are so like on to the brief jo aap keh rahe hain exactly. usse music mein dalna I can feel the loneliness hmm. in hmm. this tune. Exactly. And do you thrive on like a brief or what? What inspires you then? I always thrive on a brief. I thrive. 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 Uh, uh, क्या कहते हैं ना विदाउट एनी बैगेज हम फ्रेश स्टार्ट करते हैं वी ऑलवेज स्टार्ट एंड वी विल ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट एन इमोशन आज तक इन्होंने मुझे कभी ये नहीं बोला कि मुझे एक और हिट चाहिए इतने हमने hmm. गाने कर लिए साथ में आई मीन थैंक्स टू गॉड सो मेनी रिकॉर्ड्स हैव बीन ब्रोकन लेकिन अभी इनकी अगली फिल्म पे भी हम जो काम कर रहे हैं ई विल दिस कम एंड टेल मी कि ये किरदार ये है hmm. ये जज्बात है ये ऐसा स्पेस है ऐसा थाट है दैट्स इट एंड दैट रियली इंस्पायर्स मी यू नो इनफैक्ट एंड द ब्रीफ इज वेरी अनयूजल अनलाइक काफी लोगों को लगता है कि हम लोग हिट गाने पे काम करते हैं वो नहीं करते एक तो पहले वो कभी आज तक वो नहीं रहा है बट दूसरा ये है कि समटाइम्स इट्स नॉट इवन अबाउट द स्टोरी इट इज मोर अबाउट द फीलिंग एंड द कैरेक्टर वेरी रेयरली एवर गिवन इन द स्क्रिप्ट बट इट्स मोर अबाउट टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ वुड दिस वन लव हाउ वुड ही हर्ट हाउ वुड दिस कैरेक्टर क्राई हाउ वुड दिस पर्सन फॉल इन लव और एनी थिंग लाइक बी हैप्पी एंड आई थिंक वो हमेशा इसलिए उसको वो वर्ड को डायलॉग कहते हैं बिकॉज दो जन डाई मीन्स टू पीपल मैं ये सेम कॉन्वर्सेशन शायद किसी और के साथ नहीं करता हूँ आई थिंक एंड इसलिए मेरा मानना ये कि आज पहले ही फिल्म से लेके आज तक हम उसके स्टूडियो में जाके बैठते हैं और मैं हमेशा उसको कहता हूँ कि यहाँ पर ही हम काम करेंगे क्योंकि यहाँ पर ही मे बी आई एम बेटर एट माई सेल्फ आई एम द बेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ मी एंड यू अंडरस्टैंड माई थिंग इन फैक्ट माई असिस्टेंट समटाइम्स यू नो जो यंगर असिस्टेंट्स या सीनियर असिस्टेंट्स यंगर असिस्टेंट को बोलते हैं कि तुम लोग एक काम करो तुम लोग को डायरेक्शन सीखना है ना एक काम करो सिर्फ मोहित सूरी के साथ जाओ जब वो मिथुन से बात कर रहा है <laughs> और तुम फिल्म देखने की समझ जाओगे बट आई गिव दैट क्रेडिट टू मिथुन मुझे तो ऐसा लग रहा है कि मैं आज एक डायरेक्टर और कंपोजर से नहीं दो म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर से बात करी हूँ बिकॉज मोहित आई मीन यू विल अग्री टू दिस आई डोंट नो एनी सुर हाउ इज इट दैट एवरी फिल्म हैज सोलफुल सॉन्ग्स how you I, definitely sit very closely to music right i can give a, <laughs> yeah i i can give a lot of credit to obviously my upbringing what i mean to say is my education in film making from mm. a company that genuinely believed in music being strong 
एलिमेंट ऑफ फिल्म मेकिंग हमारे पास बड़े स्टार्स नहीं होते थे उस टाइम पे विशेष फिल्म में तो आई गिव भट्ट साहब अ लॉट ऑफ क्रेडिट फॉर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग जो हमें वो इमोशन का समझ जो हमें लिरिक्स का समझ कैरेक्टर का समझ आई गिव हिम अ लॉट ऑफ आई मीन वो कभी हमें नहीं बता आके हमारा काम नहीं करते थे बट हमेशा दैट्स वाई इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वॉट आई डू विद माई म्यूजिक ओवर अनुराग बासू डज विद इज म्यूजिक ओ विक्रम बाटो कुणाल देशमुख डज इट इट्स मोर अबाउट तेरी पर्सनैलिटी में ये है and you sharpened that self mm. but i also must give that must give a lot of credit whether it's destiny whether it's whatever it is uh it's about meeting the right people uh i think and meeting mithun has been a path that has changed my life in a way uh i could be talking but many people cannot receive me the way he does right not only this there's some songs that we've made in the past where he's come to me and he said i have spoken about my personal life and it has stayed with him and then he's come to me and he said remember you had said this to me i have made a song on this and it suits this situation of yours uh so i think music all i only do the job agar aap puchoge mujhe music bajana aata hai mujhe na sur taal na main ga sakta hu na main koi instrument play kar sakta hu mujhe mere ek hamare ek close आई मीन ऑलमोस्ट मेंटोरिश का एनीथिंग एक राजू सिंह एक म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर है जो जिन्होंने मेरी पहली पिक्चर से अपना बैकग्राउंड स्कोर किया है आई रिमेंबर वंस किसी ने कहा था वाई डोंट यू लर्न अ म्यूजिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट तो उनके भाई का एक शॉप है जहाँ म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स बेचते सो ही ही गिफ्टेड मी ए गिटार एंड ही टर्नर एंड टोल्ड मी बट डोंट एवर लर्न इट बिकॉज वॉट यू एन मिथुन डू ही एच इंड मैंशन मिथुन इन पर्टिकुलर के बिकॉज he breaks the rules and you don't know about it uh and because you don't know about it if you know the rules of music you will not break them and that's why your music is good and mithun breaks it but that's why when to mithun aise tu break karta hai kya he said ah kitna karta hai to aise tempo change karta hai he said kitna karta hu main aise tu ye sab kar la last break yeah yeah to he said ah kyunki see the thing is you know, see that's the thing i mean i and i really believe it like mithun is the prime example of that ke He's he comes from a music family. He's learned Indian classical. He's learned Western classical also. Mm. Sometimes when you learn a lot, it's very difficult to break the rules. Uh, I unlike just stumbled and became a film director, but he's done this all his life, and he comes from a family like that. But to know the rules and break them is what his idea is. And I was breaking rules and not doing. I was doing it. नहीं लेकिन मुझे भी एक क्या कहते हैं ना मेरे लाइफ में भी एक rebel की बहुत खास जरूरत थी. जैसे मीटिंग फॉर फॉर हिम आई वाज इम्पोर्टेंट सिमिलरली मेरे लिए भी बहुत जरूरी था कि मैं कैसे डायरेक्टर से मिलूं जो uh, आपने बोला ना कि इजी ही इज नॉट अ म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर एट ऑल ये uh, जैसे आप आपने भी पूछा बहुत लोग मुझे पूछते भी है कि hmm. वो इतना उनका म्यूजिक इतना अच्छा होता है इट्स एग्जैक्टली द अपोजिट मैं कहूँगा कि ही ही फील्स वेरी डीपली यू नो ही इज वेरी सेंसिटिव टू वॉट द म्यूजिक इज सेंग अगर कोई गाना बहुत चर्चित भी नहीं हुआ हो बहुत पॉपुलर भी ना हो फिर भी ये उसका जिक्र करते हैं मुझे यार ही टेल मी कि मतलब इस गाने में ना इस अंतरे में इस किस्म की फीलिंग है अ फीलिंग ऑफ लोनलीनेस इन दैट वन लाइन सो दैट मींस ही इज वेरी सेंसिटिव टू व्हाट द म्यूजिक इज मेकिंग यू फील इट्स गॉट नथिंग टू डू विद द साइंस ऑफ म्यूजिक आई थिंक देन देन द फैक्ट दैट यू नो इट्स द ग्रेटेस्ट बैलेंस दैट वन कैन हैव ऑफ समबडी क्रिएटिंग म्यूजिक एंड समबडी बीइंग दैट परफेक्ट लिसनर राइट हु you like a representative yeah, for so us so i think one one of our set below the rules yeah. and i'm glad he does and uh, because <laughs> we'll break them and not get into trouble <laughs> so he make sure of that <laughs> he make sure we don't get into trouble with that another person who joined the gang and made his debut with the two of you all was arijit singh first it was atif first it was atif, atif yes. yes and there then there was also arijit with murder too yeah. yes Tell us what made you all, you know, take him on board. किसने पहले सुना था उनकी आवाज किसने सुनी थी? How did it all happen? I cannot take credit for this at all, at all. There was just uh, so uh, me and Mithun didn't work together after Adit and and Volame for a while because of certain contractual obligations that he had. But uh, there was a time. so you must understand ke when we made adat and bola me we were younger and we were angsty and we were angry and we were you know 
more aggressive hmm. so you see can hear that in our music in the kind of way we was i was selecting his music hmm. there was a yearning and there was a alap and there was an aggression and there was in both of us i mean an aggression doesn't mean you have to phys- like i could come across as the aggressive person but you have to know the amount of aggression this man has okay he stays back and it's almost like sachin tendulkar he waits there and he shows it in his batting uh so i would give him i just got someone who understands it at that level hmm. the end coda to have in the end of adat was completely him uh and he said just i want to give this space to the singer to sing uh he did his own thing he did a scratch thing but he remembered he didn't let the singer hear it and even that singer let's give him the credit yeah. he has a flourish about himself he has a like you're just talking he has a personality about himself he said i will do something and it was the first take that's it yeah the first take after that we didn't do anything we tried it again but we didn't go on trying it because the first take was so good i actually got up from my seat and started clapping my in the recording room uh but he went without a breath in that whole tina tan 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 dum just went on and it is nothing was planned hmm. but it was him who gave him that space saying yeah. now i've given you the space go for it so that was us back then <laughs> then i met him almost 8 to 8 years later maybe something and uh, again i was going through a different stage in my life where i was i felt somewhere i had got lost working with a lot of people but i lost my originality and my i was like i was picking up music i was not creating music i know that i create and not i was not making my own things from my heart uh and i did feel a kind of humiliation when a very senior music director was trying to tell me how to do how what a hit song is and mm. i said I'm, but that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for a good song which is right for my film called murder 2 so i went back and mr bhat was the one who told me when you want to go forward in life sometimes go back and i went back to where i was the purest and that only was with mithun because that time i didn't know anything and stuff like that. so i met him and he was a different person he was suddenly more calmer and more rested and more uh not that he was successful or anything but he was just in fact quite cut off at that time from mm. everyone in the world why was that why was that yeah jaise uh, inke life mein ek phase aaya tha i think i think hum dono ke beech mein ek cheez common rahi urman ki हम हमको कामयाबी तब मिली जब हम उसके लिए तैयार नहीं थे <laughs> मुझे अभी भी याद है हम लोग ओवर नाइट फ्रॉम कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम असिस्टेंट्स वी वर सडनली प्रोफेशनल्स एंड सडनली पीपल वर कॉलिंग अस सर एंड सडनली वी वन वी वर लाइक हमको बोल रहे हैं सो दैट सो मे डीलिंग विद सो मेनी एनर्जी समटाइम्स कैन थ्रो यू ऑफ जैसे इनका भी थोड़ा सा एंड आई थिंक इट्स वेरी ह्यूमन यू नो जैसे इट्स अ प्रोसेस ऑफ सक्सेस वो गाना है ना लव दैट सॉन्ग ऑफ राहत साहब की बिछड़ना भी जरूरी था या समटाइम इट्स नेसेसरी टू गो ऑफ ट्रैक एंड देन यू फाइंड योर वे बैक सो फॉर मी आई वाज गोइंग थ्रू अ सिमिलर फेस एंड आई हैड टू विथड्रॉ जस्ट टू गेट गेन हु आई वाज मैं कौन था गेटिंग बैक टू माय कोर एंड ये संजोग की बात है आई थिंक प्रभु की मर्जी थी कि उसी टाइम पे ही गिव मी अ कॉल out of nowhere it was my phone rang and mohit i still remember i was outside uh, fame ad lab hmm. at link road and i just gone through a humiliation i came down and i was told by a very senior music director that uh, you have said no to a blockbuster song so i said yes sir but it doesn't suit my film and he said yeah you never go your music will never go anywhere so i came down and i called up mohit <laughs> i was shooting that it was my first job shoot for mohit to uh and i came to him and i you know i i have this thing with mithun we jump into the skin of the film hmm ki sabse mushkil gana pehle karo hmm and sabse mushkil gana us time tha actually for that film was not a romantic song because romantic song fir bhi mil jate hai was a song called ek khuda hmm and uh, i had no idea about you know he had gone through a spiritual experience and change and nothing i had no idea about it i just land called i don't know why i called him up and i went and met him and uh, this is the song i worked with hmm. and i shot few days and i went for a recce to go and all throughout i kept calling him and asking him things and talking to him on the phone more about 
spirituality because I just discovered that about him. And that actually helped me in the writing of the film about mm-hmm. the character who's, you know, uh, got, was money minded and then loses everything. And those were things that were insp- actually helping the writing of my film. It was got nothing to do with the song, but he was making the song at the same time. Mm-hmm. When I came back, he made me a uh, Ekhoda and it's almost like a divine intervention. If you like, if let's be honest about that kind of thing. Uh, I'm not as spiritual as him, but I can't give an answer to this re- reason. And he made that song. And I said, this is the song hmm. for this film. At the climax, this is the song that will play. Yeah. So then he said, now what next? Uh, so I told him one situation. And uh, it was very unusual because it was a situation where people were in love with each other, but they were not committing. And the very unsurety. And it was a very mature situation, to be honest. And he said, yes. Uh, so I shot the film. And... Uh, one day I was shooting the climax in Bombay and someone told me, Mithun has come to meet you. He called me. I said, yes, yes, but I remember I was too much in the climax, so I don't remember. So my assistant came in, Mithun has come. So Mithun came and I said, I'm shooting. So he said, yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait. So I, I genuinely believe after that moment, I've understood. When Mithun comes to you, to your set with something, he's come with pure gold. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So I packed up and we went in his car. Yeah. And he played the song. And the song was nothing like what it finally ended up. Hmm. It had a lot of music, as in it had it had the whole song in it. But it was not structured. It was just like he had just played it with his heart. Hmm. This, that. But it had so much brilliance in it. And it stood out so much. And Arijit obviously had sung that one line. Hmm. At that time, you know, I didn't even know this. Like for example, Mithun was doing this. In the same song, he was using three singers. And I could not make out. Which singer was what? Who was playing which slide? Mohammed Irfan also has sung. Yeah. Uh, so similarly in Ekhuda there were three, including himself four. So I asked him, why do you, how you do this, man? Because at that time we were very used to one singer singing a Correct. song. He said it has to be one emotion mode. And that's what I learned from him. He said one, three people can convey one emotion, so be it. If one person can do it, so be it. So I thought that was a brilliant thing. But I heard that song, I said, this is the song. And then we just, I mean, I, I just sat and we cut paste, cut paste and then he said now I know what to do and he went back and this was the song. Uh, I remember a very senior filmmaker after Murder 2 came out and that song came out who I respect a lot and his music sense a lot called me and said you have a soul in you, me, that I should follow and I think that was the birthplace of Ashigi. Mm. Oh. I think that's when I realized that you know when everyone is screaming and shouting which we used to do in the past. Hmm. I think both of us, what we realized over that period of staying away is now let's stop shouting and let's just talk. Hmm. Because now we have something to say. Guys, are you all listening to yourself when you're in a relationship? <laughs> I <laughs> like, think so, yeah. Does Damn. Palak know about it? <laughs> like yeah. You were already married. <laughs> so technically, I know my wife and him. Yeah. See, him longer than my wife, actually. Because <laughs> I met my wife on the sets of like, Sarah and I met him before. And I met drama. my wife on his, on his film. On my film. <laughs> exactly. Wow. <laughs> so technically, I know him longer than my wife. Like, everything is in it. There's a lot of distance. I mean, I don't understand what I'm telling you. No, but at that time, actually, the thing is, I was the one falling in love, falling out of love, all that stuff. And when he had fear, Bobat I said, Bhai, mujhe bata, teri life pe koi aisa hai? Uh. How did you make a song like this? No, what? I just got it from you. I said, Itta inspiration. I, mean, I thought it was a very deep song. And I but was again, a... my question is that how Ji. did you discover Arijit? So the thing is, I uh, Arijit se pehli baar mila tha 2007 mein. Okay. time pe, I think, uh, wo television show karke bahar nikle the. Hmm. And on the television show, I had uh, noticed there was something extraordinary about him. So after he came out, uh, through somebody, he had come to meet me. And he was very new back then. And maybe we were also new. So I had tried him on a song of mine back in 2007, hmm. which was which finally became Beethe Lame, which was finally sung by KK Sa. Hmm. And uh, however, he had, he had made a mark on my mind when he recorded that song. And I told him, Ki, I really like your voice. Uh, we'll... Definitely record something and we'll keep exploring. So I remember what he did. He would uh, keep recording the song again and again in different versions and he would keep sharing it with me. Oh. Just to see if his new interpretation, he wanted my comment on it. Hmm. And it just showed how much he was willing to work on his craft. And then he went 
फॉर आई थिंक फॉर यो ही वेंट टू द यू के वो वहाँ पे संगीत सीखने और गए और वहाँ से लौट के अगेन ही कॉल मी एनी सर की आप बैक आप स्टडीड म्यूजिक प्रोडक्शन मुझे और करना है और एक दिन वो स्टूडियो आए थे जस्ट टू प्ले मी वॉट अवर ही लर्न और वो क्या वॉट न्यू हीज डूइंग और उस टाइम पे आई वॉज इट वॉज उसी टाइम पे आई वॉज वर्किंग ऑन द म्यूजिक ऑफ मॉडर टू तो uh, मुझे पता था कि वो इतना तैयार है मैं अजीत अब आए हो तो एक काम करो ये लाइन गा दो तो ही टू मी क्या लाइन सो देन आई प्लेड हिम ऐसा क्यों कर हुआ जानो ना मैं जानो ना दिस वाज हिज लाइन संभल जा जरा फिर मोहब्बत करने चला है तू तो ये दो लाइन ही मैंने रिकॉर्ड किए एनी टोल्ड मी कि आगे पीछे के आई सेड वो अभी आई एम वॉकिंग ऑन इट अभी अभी आए हो तो इतना कर दो and he left and then i had sessions again with mohit khali briefing sessions where you tell me ki ye layers hai ki uh, he had told me ki gana kaise shoot karenge ki imran you know he uh, i think jacqueline is a model in the, in the film and he lands up he purposely he passes by from where she is working hmm. so then we jam with saeed qadri saab and we got a thought jis raah pe hai ghar tera aksar wahan se ha main hu guzra शायद यही दिल मेरा तू मुझको मिल जाए क्या पता क्या है ये सिलसिला जानो ना मैं जानो ना वाह 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 सो देन आई गॉट दैट थॉट एंड देन आई कॉल्ड अनदर सिंगर देन ही गिव मी अनदर ब्रीफ फॉर आई कॉल्ड द वो ब्रीफ के बाद आई केम अप विद जब जब तेरे पास में आया एक सुकून मिला एंड आई कॉल्ड मोहम्मद इरफान ऐसा करके उसका पूरा ढांचा तैयार हुआ और वो सारे पार्ट्स वो सारे वॉइसेस लेकर मैं इनके सेट पे एक दिन पहुंच गया I think वो छह सात मिनट का तो ये उल, उल्टा था देख पहले अंतरा आ रहा था फिर मुखड़ा आ रहा था तो ऑल एड इट इज ऐसे अरे ये तो बहुत अच्छा है बड़ी थोड़ा ऊपर नीचे करो बट कमाल की बात ये है द पावर ऑफ दिस सॉन्ग दैट एवरीवन हु सिंग्स इट इट जस्ट साउंड्स ब्यूटीफुल इरफान हैज संग इट सो मेनी टाइम्स एंड आई हैव हर्ड हिम एंड वाओ अरिजीत सिंग्स इट एंड इट्स ब्यूटीफुल एंड नाउ वी हर्ड इट विद यू सो दैट लाइक यू मेंशनड यू नो इट्स द इमोशन दैट गॉट सो इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस ट्रैक व्हिच stayed with us yeah wow it's But, all, it's always the emotion it's it's only the emotion that stays because you know pro- production will get outdated singing mm. will get outdated the only thing that doesn't get outdated in the old songs that we hear is the emotion mm. when you hear lata ji singing aapki nazron ne samjha mm. pyar ke you can't that, it's the emotion of a woman telling her beloved about how you make me look beautiful <laughs> that emotion is so great correct Uh, so I think the emotions are something that don't get outdated because we are emotional beings. W- what will get outdated is programming, sound recording, hmm. uh, instruments, even voices. Hmm. You know, we will get outdated. Yeah. Style of singing does get outdated. Of course, right? yeah. will, but what will never get outdated, like in films also, uh, the emotion of films, black and white films also work. Uh, but the shooting style has changed. Com- even acting style has changed. Com- So I think emotion is something that you cannot, and that's the one thing. That's the one thing. Two things. That and attitude are the two things that today the machine cannot create. Hmm. Today with the AI and stuff like that, you hmm. can create voices also. Yeah. You can pitch correct. You can do everything. But what you can't get is, and what is emotion? It's in the end comes from human error. It comes from the flaws that we have. Hmm. Correct. Not by our qualities, but it our flaws. Comes by breaking rules. By breaking <laughs> rules. Hmm. So that's what humans will always be. emotions True. and our flaws so now guys 26th of april 2013 yes. mm. we got an album that changed most everyone's life because we got a background score to our lives <laughs> <laughs> to With, our lives also, to yeah. all our lives to so many so many wonderful songs in one album mohit my my first question to you about ashiki 2 is that you came up with this concept of having multiple composers Why was that? You know, actually, people don't realize this. So, for my first film, I was hmm. doing that because that time I was so young that big people didn't want to work with me. You know, at twenty-one, no one became directors during my time. Hmm. Later on, since Ayan and all these people and Dharma started, you know, the younger people started becoming directors. But Vishesh films was the first time I was twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three when my first film released. So that time, I remember a lot of actors used to also say that when I used to come down, when I used to keep looking up, where's the director going to come down? <laughs> Uh, so I used to grow my hair and all, try to look a little older and all. So I think at that time, what happened is invariably I I started working with individual people. Then what happened is the commitment to giving a great 
album became so much that if it came from one person, so be it. If it came from many people, I'm not, I don't doubt anyone cannot create. But also you have to notice how music consumption changed. People were buying cassettes and all at one time, but then people started getting individual songs mm. to get, right? So I said, today it's a very fair chance. You know, I remember it was guys like Mithun and all who just broke that. They were like, there's no... Like even with Arijit, like people, you know, people tend to think about how he overnight became a success. But the thing is, I've seen him assist Pritam and I've seen him, he would like do every, there's no small job for him ever. Yeah. He's done every, he's done scratches for everyone. Like if a lot of singers feel that our voice will get replaced because in the end, Arijit ke paas hi jayenge. Hmm. You have to realize how many people Arijit has sung for and has got replaced. But you know, to to like first of all come up with Ashiki 2, because the first film to Ashiki was yes. a massive success, and unke gaane jo hai, like everyone there was no disparity. So yeah, so you know that's the best part. Most, I mean, he wasn't a senior guy then, and most people were afraid to pick up the album with the fear of not living up to no, those standards. Yeah. What I realized with the young guys, with him, with Amkit, with Jida and all, they were, they were just happy being a part of it and making music. They were not trying to live up to Ashiki. Hmm. In fact, I, I mean, admire him because his, his, his father had worked in Ashiki and worked very closely with wow. Nadeem and Nadeem sir and Shavan sir and all. We made this song. So, you know, so you have to know that Ashiki one album was made in a very different way. There was a big bank of music which were done by Nadeem and Shaman sir along with her father hmm. and Gulshanji had that bank. And hmm. It was actually an album. Very it was cool. a bank of songs hmm. which T-Series wanted to put into a movie yeah. and Bhatsab chose 13 of it and recorded two more hmm. kind of thing. That's a different way of making and it, no, no discredit to it. It is a great album. They took the best of the best. Right. This music was made for this film. Hmm. And I remember his father, I was wrecking in South Africa when the song was made and his father called me up. He had heard, just heard the song. Later at night at his place, because it was night in South Africa, I still remember where I was. And he called me up saying, I worked on the previous album and this song is going to go some, what you boys have done is something else. Uh, this song is going to, he was the first one who called me up and said that wow. to me. Mithun, but do you remember like as a kid, have you seen the song being made in front of you? Have you grown up with the makers around? What was it? I to? have. So, at uh, okay, that time, composers didn't have their studios at that time. Yes, they were in their houses, yeah. So, settings were done at home. So, in my house, there were many composers I've seen. Uh, Nadeem Shravan Ji, Wilshan Ji, directors come to my house. Although, I was very small. But, I saw that zone. Yeah, yeah like Mukherjee had met him before. Achha, I met him. Achha. Achha. I think he had seen him as a kid or whatever. And I yeah. think, that time films were made very very personally. Correct. People knew each other's like even like in my first film in, in Zaire, there was Babluda who had worked with RD oh, Bowman and yeah. Mukheji asked me to touch his feet and because he was such a senior programmer. Uh, so there was a very different way films were made at that time. Hmm. I came at the crossroad. Hmm. You know, today we don't know when like it starts happening with Bithur also. When he dubs a song with a singer. Yeah. He's done it at his own time whenever hmm. he wants and then he calls me and then I hear it separately. And so was was this the first uh, composer on board? Like was yeah, yeah. Mithun all, the in first? In all my films, uh, hmm. Mithun the first composer. I always tell <laughs> you need to set the sur of the uh, of the film. Huh. So he was making Tumiyo and I genuinely feel that after he made Tumiyo, he got complacent because he went away on a spiritual complacent journey. Complacent is the wrong word. <laughs> yeah, he's like, say. I've done my job for the film. Bye. 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 And he went away to Jerusalem. He went away. And he actually told me this. Yeah, he did. I'm That's telling okay. you. He told me I'm, I'm done for this film. Huh. Okay, you maybe he I, I don't think he's that kind, but he's like, is same name, but not that we didn't work, that we were working till the release on that song. Huh? Mm. Like for example, I suddenly came up and there was a different situation where she's singing. And it was she's singing the writer did and she's singing a high note. And he is just failed in his singing hmm. and he comes to a recording and she's singing very well i was like how do i now show this in the, it's because singing style is very subjective right so i called him up in the night i said i need an antara of this song so he said okay fine i'll call the lyric writer we'll do a antara that's another story altogether of lyric writer but the thing is i said no i need a female one. Oh, okay so in the night he has made only the female antara next morning i've gone and shot it 
which is where shraddha is singing meri hmm. aashiqui that, that only one yeah. antra first then yeah. he made it into whole song only for that shoot he made one antra in the night because there was no better way to show that and it was she's... shot on arijit's voice it was i, I no, give no, you no, i give no. you a male voice you gave me the male voice for his portion i said from here till here from there it, from there i said yeah. yeah so i was shooting it in his studio like i said yahan tak tu kar le ladki ki awaaz baki Hmm. will be division wahi kar rahe udhar hi kar rahe the okay, so i want to dissect this song because tumhi ho has had a very very impactful uh, time in our lives for 10 years now so i want to dissect this and i want you to tell us that kya yehi dhun thi or were you all like you know working on something else and then finally you all agreed on this no he did make me hear two more tunes hmm. which do you remember the tunes they went in other films <laughs> and they did very well also. which one <laughs> which one <laughs> What are you saying? No, okay. So let me just put it this way. Okay, let me put it this way. I think what I had not communicated, I had communicated what I was also learning process that with Mithun you don't have to communicate the situation, not the shooting. It's better to communicate the emotion, and we were still learning at that time. Hmm. So I think I communicated more about the rain and the situation and how she runs after him, and then the song starts. So he made it more about the rain, the song. If you understand what I mean. then i was i was like no but you know mithun is a brilliant song but this is not communicating to this turmoil in the thing mm. and i think it was what was very inspirational was the fact that love is not always just pretty what i think what he picked up very well was mera chain bhi mera dard bhi meri aashiqui par tum hi ho even though what aashiqui was not there and i remember that that comes from his you know from his that's the only contribution i had to the song if i really ask is he it was meri khud hi ab tum hi ho now you have to understand the best forms of art have been done for the lord because that love is so pure and he had made that song like this so it was mera chain bhi mera dard bhi ab meri khud hi ab tum hi ho so i very scared i was as she said can this word khud hi go into aashiqui because i know how because i didn't know if it fit, fit in the meter, meter. And, and he was just immediately is like it is brilliant it's superb hmm it's superb he told me he normally thinks about things Mithun, but this he didn't take any thought. No, but which was the tune? The same tune. Uh, no, no, no. But you said that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you said that. Ah, 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 you but i must say that there were the lyrics were written for actually just scratch lyrics okay someone else was supposed to write the final lyrics acha hmm. but mithun had done the scratch lyrics and i promise you he had no intention to turn into and i know him if he says he had yet he had no intention to turn into the lyric writer of the song he had just done it because he just understood the thought so well and that's where that comes with my lack of being able to communicate to the lyric writer and my ability to communicate with him he just understood the lyrics and he got wrote this scratch and after i shot the song i went to show it was a non lip sync song so we could tweak the lyrics but the lyric writer still not getting it so i finally called mithun and i showed him the song he said it cannot change and he by default had to become into a lyric writer hmm. in for that song he won the award for it so what i must say what we wrote not with the audience of trying to be accepted or not with the, to be a, you know praised what we wrote just because we felt what was right hmm. and for the situation and if you notice ashiki had ashiki one a very aggressive out there music and same film ko to me you have a sur in you you must turn around and told me that you should reuse one of the old songs of ashiki and i was like so my film doesn't depend on that also i did notice that there was a very different generation ashiki had released 23 years back hmm. people knew that music but music had changed and music was more what to today what he and me were listening to yeah actually i wanted to even ask you this question that you didn't want to recreate a track or get probably kumar sanu uh, for one song that wasn't in the picture that wasn't ever planned see these are all thinking decisions hmm ashiki the whole film including the music was not made that way hmm. it was more felt yeah. we didn't make it to become such a big hit we didn't make it to uh, Yeah. We, we were just I just done a blockbuster film called Murder 2 and now I was getting to make a love story nobody else was acting in it so I took newcomers it was made a very small budget but it was just that I was tired of doing thrillers and I wanted to make a love story and my producer 
felt I had the I had the emotional content in me. I I told them I don't want to go to a big music director and I want to work with. They let me. Uh, give them a lot of credit for that. I give them a lot of credit to understand the film. I have to give credit to Jeet Dada. Uh, please understand, he did eight of the songs in the album. He set the standard so high that Mithun and Ankit had to go higher only. Uh, so you know when you set a basic base yeah. which is yeah. so strong, you we have to get better. So give him a lot of credit. But even again, the I had this thing. I I, I went mad. I went obsessive because I wanted that one voice. to represent th- because they're playing singers hmm. so i wanted that one voice for the male voice Correct. for him and i've tested so many people in the industry so many people and on all of jeet dada songs and then i finally came and mithun and to be oh and i said who's this guy he said it's the same guy who did phir mohabbat phir mohabbat i said can he sing all songs he said he can sing everything it was mithun who actually i mean i think arijit should give a lot of credit to him because it was mithun and then when i went and told jeet dada do you know are arijit apna bachcha everyone was suddenly apna bachcha because arijit had actually worked with everybody in every possible capacity as an assistant as a helper as a programmer wow. you know that's you know that's him hmm. that's arijit hmm. so everyone knew about him except ankit song which was i thought he had done so much honesty to himself that's hmm. why i broke my rule but so you have to follow your rules but break them when you think it's it's right but it was mithun who discovered him and had given had done to me over there what little people don't know where i come in is mithun after he everyone said appreciating the song so much got the song redubbed and the singing actually was better but i was like no no go back to the original singing mm. because at that time we he had sung that song without it without the burden of it being a good song just right mm. Mm. we used the scratch version of Correct. the voice Okay, and that's I want the magic. to I want to come back again to dissecting this track now. And I want to add one thing on that. That when Mohit Poo was looking at the sound, there were a lot of people who gave an open invitation to him that he should come here. So my suggestions came to me that he was looking for two of the songs that he was looking for. So I was very very secure. Hmm. I told him that he should come here. 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 I told him that लेकिन आशिकी टू की आवाज होने वाली ही अरिजीत सिंह एंड दैट्स आई एम टेलिंग यू एंड आई हैड नो आईडिया ही हैड फाउंड तो आई एम फीलिंग आई टुक द डिसीजन ऑन हिज बी या या एंड आई एम लाइक आई वाज लाइक आई हैव बीन सर्चिंग द होल कंट्री एंड गोइंग फॉर 10000 रिकॉर्डिंग एंड यू नो द थिंग इज इट वाज अ बिग थिंग फॉर एवरी न्यू म्यूजिशियन आल्सो यू नो दैट दे वर बीइंग अ पार्ट ऑफ आशिकी बिकॉज़ ऑफ यू नो शानूदास लेगेसी एंड एवरीथिंग करेक्ट एंड यू नो एंड इट्स नॉट ओनली बिकॉज़ ऑफ आशिकी वाज डन दैट वे यू नो व्हेन यू हैड लाइक Whenever newcomers were launched, there was always a new singer launched with it. Have you noticed in the past? Whether it was Bobby, there was Shelley in the same. Mm. When there was Rithik Roshan was with Lucky Ali, although he was yes. famous already, but yes, yes, yes. there was always a new voice with the new. The, uh, I think Udit Narayan came during Amir Khan's time. Yeah. Mm. There was always a new singer because he made the acting look newer, right? So we were looking for a new voice which who, who could do all these variation and emotions. Mm. It was a tough decision, and I was so every time. A, Singer came and went. I felt very dejected, telling them that they wouldn't be a part of it. But back in 2013, Mohit Chauhan was huge. He was singing almost all yes. songs. Why didn't you all consider him? Wasn't that also like was this the reason that you all wanted a complete freshness? I wanted a new freshness. voice. I wanted a freshness too because mm. newcomers, I think, I, I think Mohit Chauhan had already done like films like Rockstar and all, which yeah. had done for musicians. What I didn't want to be is I rather stand alone and fail rather than be a part of a band, and that's. be a part of a nontraj that is doing well hmm. and that's what's one thing that has kept me connected to mithun is that he doesn't try to fit in ke aajkal aisa music chal raha hai to let's make music like even ashiq yeah, yeah. Uh, you know I, i must say that i loved the album of ye jawani diwani it was the same year and it was a very complete album hmm. uh, there was a lot of music happening but what ashiq ki music was it, it had the courage to say while all of you are shouting we will quietly just say what we have to say and we'll go into silence and we will while everyone is getting louder and over programmed here was emptiness and there was silence and this feeling and there'll be a new voice and if he's see so unlike like what i like about him is while he did a ek huda with four voices to get one emotion hmm. he understood my script and said no arijit will be the voice in this one song because it's one man's and only one man can communicate it again the vision that mithun you had and uh, i think that 
when I think about this track and, and the start of it, hmm. th- that tune hmm. sets the mood so beautifully. So, I have to say that this is the first time I have What was your thought behind just the, the, the start of it? I have to say that I have to say that I have to say that I have this has as much as impact as Pehla Nasha's start has. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, I, I just felt it hmm. right now. So, kya hota hai ki, as, a, as, a, as a composer, zaroor nahi ki mujhe, it comes in the order of this song in which way it comes. Like we talked film Mohabbat, it was a big deal. So, I remember that the Aashiqui 2K sessions were very intense. Hote the. Mohit was very... Unke, he would actually enact scenes. <laughs> and he would actually... He actually treats me like an actor. I don't know how much I and I treat him like a music composer. I sometimes tell him also, Mohit, he'll do this in the And he'll like, listen. Like we used Malang in Darbari. So that's another conversation. But that session happened. We were standing on the Insta, we were talking the Just wrapping up the meeting. And I told him, Mohit, there are so many layers. Hai, because he told me many things about to me. Ki, even if even if this is the path of destruction, I will walk the road with you. Hmm. This was the brief for Tumiyo. So I was like, uh this ideology hai, is ko ek do lovzo me bolo. So he was like, Abhi main kya bolo? Main I'm not a lyric writer. And he was actually mere question ko wo nakar ke nikal rahe the. Aur jate jate wo bole, Tumhi ho, and he left. And that just stayed with me. And I walked back to my room. It was an afternoon. Hmm. Or uh, I was, uh, for me, use it on an F minor. It's very important to acknowledge keys. They are all universes in their own self. That's why if you see the old symphonies, they will always write the key. Hmm. Hmm. Like so and so piece in this key. So I felt that Ashiki 2 theme song, it should be an F. I just felt that. And the first thing that came to me was. Uh, <laughs> This is the first melody which actually came to me and then I, I, I sat on it further and uske baad I came up with the Hum Tere Bin part and then when I was looking at the right kya bolte na, ki, there's a motif hmm. the right bass to start a song right so inne mujhe scene describe kiya tha ki barish ho rahi hai and, and RJ jo hai wo arohi ke peeche daud ke jata hai you know just after they've had a very bad argument hmm. so I was just thinking that us time par to visual the nahi lekin mere zehen mein the inhone you know, and after all the screaming hmm. there is a silence that hmm. yeah, yeah that's what was my brief to so and, this tune defines then the silence that, These actually represent raindrops. So the idea was these drops. I didn't say up. that. He did it on his own. This I did too. <laughs> My God. So yeah, but I think. Our dunya hai actually. One listener gana sun ki apni dunya bana leta. Ji. Uske pehle hamari ek dunya hai jaape ham bolte ki yahan pe. Bachpan mein kaisa hota hai ki ye mera pahad hai, ye meri Ferrari hai. Jo bacho ki ka jo hota na unka tasavur hota hai. हमारा भी एक तस्वीर होता कि ये रेन ड्रॉप्स है ये ये स्ट्रिंग सेक्शन यहां से दरिया बह रहा है दैट्स हाउ वी डू आवर म्यूजिक आई थिंक लॉर्ड द रेन माय गॉड बट यू नो इट हाउ इंटेलेक्चुअल इट साउंड्स आई डोंट थिंक द वर्क वी डिड वाज दैट वी वर बीइंग स्मार्ट वी वर जस्ट फील इट जस्ट फ्लोइंग यू नो विद विच व्हाटएवर यू आर फीलिंग but was feeling. it was it challenging to get onto the antara? Because mukhra to ban gaya, matlab aage hi sab feel. Haan. But wo bridge ke baad antre par ana and then you know giving it that same importance as the mukhra was that. So generally with Mohit, I inko hamesha ek antre ke saath sunata. Always. Because kya hota hai ki uh, main hamesha manta hu, and it's very important, especially with him, ki mukhra jo hai wo gaane ka chhara hota hai. Iske usko mukhra bolte hai. लेकिन अंतरा जो है वो गाने का रिद्ध है इसलिए उसे अंतरा बोलते हैं गाने का जो अंतर है वो अंतरा है जी सो एंड ही ऑलवेज वांट्स दैट ही वांट्स टू नो कि व्हाट इज द सॉन्ग सिंग बियॉन्ड द वर्ड्स दैट्स व्हाट ही कैचेस सो आई ऑलवेज सो व्हेन आई प्लेड हिम द सॉन्ग 
फर्स्ट टाइम इट ऑल्सो हैड तेरे लिए नहीं इट हैड तेरा मेरा रिश्ता तेरे लिए केम लेटर सो इट हैड Now, the Mukhra doesn't have this part. Hmm. This is something which just flowed. Hmm. Mukhra straight away goes to तुम ही हो and you're in the antra. I come. कोई लम्हा मेरा न हो तेरे बिना हर सांस पे नाम तेरा and then back to क्योंकि तू ही हो so this was again breaking the rules <laughs> we had another structure coming in about that and then I played this to him and then तेरे लिए का जो flight है क्योंकि ये सुनने के बाद उन्होंने मोहित तोड़मी की the silence has come कहने का ठहरा हुआ has come and the yearning Hmm. उसकी जो ह्यूमिलिटी है वर्लरेबिलिटी है आरजे की वो आ चुका है आई जस्ट वॉन्ट दिस फ्लाइट द सॉन्ग शुड राइज एट सम पॉइंट लाइक अ फिनिक्स तो अभी उसके लिए देन आई सैट एंड देन आई वॉन्टेड द राइज देन आई केम अप got the rise and i so i feel so i'm feeling the same i'm so <laughs> blessed and i'm still feeling the same i'm telling you this is like i i'm feeling the same way right now hearing this is when i was when i heard it in a studio and i was like what is this i just i just felt the same way it's just that i have seen more people around me here uh, be acting to it the same way i just felt that alone and uh, yeah this this is the same feeling i had at that time i don't think that when you guys were making the song it mattered ki hit hoga nahi hoga no, ye ye no, no exactly ye, this is not this beyond ye, yeah, this yeah, is beyond all of that na we didn't we didn't not, care i didn't care if anyone else liked it yeah i just wanted to be have some i mean not that i have any ownership but just wanted this to be a part of my life and i think when you do that and mm. you don't have that whole thing of trying to i don't want to defeat anyone with this song hmm i just wanted to be a part of the song and that's why we are 10 years later and i'm still a part of it in that sense so then there is also uh, ash meri aashiki that comes and then you know there's a female version and then palak joins in again yeah. what a what a soulful voice she has yes. she again maybe like mithun you know just gets the brief of what was needed at that time mohit would you agree to that so i uh, i i worked with her f- i think only personally when i worked with jeet dada when you were doing chahu mai you know hmm and now getting the obvious connection now that they married they they both come from a very similar spiritual back background you know she does a lot of So I remember talking to her, and she's such an interesting person that way. Uh, and I asked her, "How did you reach her?" And then she told me about how she used to sing for charitable things, and that's where Salman Khan saw her and her brother, and you know they approached her. And you know, it's, it's I I make somewhere I must agree in this process of making mo- movies. I have lost the idea of touching people, but actually earning money. and if you can do this with your art where you can really want to matter to someone there's a process of giving hmm. and surprisingly you get much more with that yeah uh, and when you try to take the money from the guy who's coming to watch your film in the theater 
they'll be stingy to give you. Mm. If you know what I'm trying to say. I get it. So when I come back to Palak, there's so much she has. You know, uh, training. Yes, she's been doing it for a really long time. I got to know she's been doing it since, since she's a kid. So has he. But there is something that they both have, which is very similar, which is this need to give, to matter, hmm. and not with the price, not for cost. Yeah. And that comes out in your singing. And I'm not surprised that they don't found each other. Uh, I didn't know about it. No one recent, knew about yeah, it. I didn't know about this, it. When did this happen? <laughs> I want to ask you. So you're saying like, this <laughs> because I, Palak. No, mom, once or twice he mentioned something to me that there is someone, but I didn't know it was Palak. So it was quite a surprise. I only got I got a call. Saying, yeah, yeah, same time. Saying that uh, mom wants to give you an invite. This same. is Palak's mom, and auntie's like uh, Palak's wedding is there. Anna hai. I said, okay. Like, hey, do you want to ask who's the guy? I said, uh, of course, I'd love to know. Like Vidhun. I said, what? So yeah, yeah, and I had no idea. Kaudri, he's basically cheated on me. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> that I, I, our relationship. I, that I had no question. idea. <laughs> that was going to be my question. Did you feel jealous? Were you were you feeling? I, I felt left out that I didn't know. <laughs> so I actually felt stupid. No, let's and let's I should, hear the story. I didn't join the dots. Let's hear the story. Kab hua ye? Tell me. Yeah, you know, I like to hear the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Ashiki, tell me. Let me remind you. No, no, no. Ashiki. This happened during Ashiki only, no? No, no. Where it happened? No, no, Ashiki. No, no. No, no. No, no. When did it happen? Then, if it's not Ashiki, this is recent. Now. वो तो आई थिंक पीपल नो ओनली बिकॉज आशिकी टू के टाइम पे एंड आफ्टर दैट ऑल्सो मी एंड पलक हम दोनों इवन मैन शी वुड कम टू रिकॉर्ड हमारे मेरे लिए हम दोनों उन उस घोड़े की तरह है ना कि आए या इन्होंने क्या बोला दैट्स द बेबी बीन वर्किंग सो आई नेवर रियली एक्नॉलेज्ड हर बियॉन्ड द आर्टिस्ट दैट शी इज बीन एंड वाइस वर्सा उनकी तरफ से भी हमेशा यही था शी वुड स्पीक टू वर्ड्स आई वुड स्पीक थ्री एंड ऑफ द कन्वर्सेशन सो हमेशा आशिकी के टाइम पे भी बहुत लोगों की गलत फैमिली शायद हो क्योंकि शायद माहौल ही ऐसा है hmm. ना लेकिन ऐसा बिल्कुल बिल्कुल नो नो आई वाज वेरी इंप्रेस विद वेरी गुड Because it was a difficult song. It was a different, different <coughs> scale. It was a song that had to be done on a main scale, and she was and she tried so hard. You know? hmm. So I remember going for that recording uh, with Jee Dada for hers, and uh, sh- she's she's really good at what she does, and she's got a you know. And see, the thing is, I was looking for new people, right? Because it was about youngsters, the film. So I thought the only song that I I got Shreya to sing was. Uh, was sundra na to hmm. the female version because that was just it was a very male scale so a very different song and i had to put this whole the thought in the film was you sang my song better than me so i i got her to do it. but other than i was very impressed with everything palak did and hmm. i might might have suggested her in hundreds of places including to him but i had no po- i had no no played this so i had, i also got, you I, nothing i had i got to know when you guys got to know kya hai mathur इनको तो बता देते यार हमारा छोड़ो ये तो गहरा रिश्ता है ही वाज तो सपोज टू बी देयर फॉर माय रजिस्टर साइनिंग आल्सो यस आई जस्ट आई एम वेरी बैड विद मैरिजेस फ्यूनरल्स एंड एवरीथिंग आई एम जस्ट रियली बैड एट इट आई बेली लैंड अप विद माय ओन मैरिज आई ऑलमोस्ट मिस्ड माय ओन मैरिज सो या दैट्स मोर या सो बट कॉल मी फॉर अ सॉन्ग हां कॉल मी दैट देयर इज अ न्यू सिंगर ही कॉल्स मी एंड ही शुड जस्ट टोल्ड मी लिसन बैंड्रा कोड आई फाउंड दिस न्यू सिंगर जस्ट लैंड अप आई वुड हैव लैंडेड अप वे बिफोर टाइम <laughs> अच्छा ये बताएं मिथुन अपार्ट फ्रॉम तुम ही हो व्हाट वाज़ द अदर सॉन्ग फ्रॉम दिस एल्बम दैट यू रियली लाइक्ड अ लॉट वेरी आई हैव ऑलवेज बीन मीन वेरी वोकल भुला देना आई थिंक और मैंने पहली बार जब yeah, सुना था तब से मैंने इनसे कहा था कि वो बहुत सुंदर गीत है द वे इट हैज बीन रिटन द थॉट खिजा की शाम हूं मैं तू है नई सुबह तुझे जीना होगा मेरे बिना आई जस्ट लव द वे दैट सॉन्ग हैज बीन रिटन कंपोज्ड बाय जीत दा and also the uh, element that mustafa zahid yeah, brought exactly. to the song beautiful none of the thing that was really spoken about with ashiki 2 was the poster okay when it was so iconic so you know how your limitations become your positives i think hmm. was uh with newcomers showing them romance because people don't know them they don't connect with them in that way hmm. how do you get new about it 
So I, th I think the best work was done by Mr. Bhatt in Ashiki one. When he said newcomers, they're not interested, cover their faces and he did the Ashiki. And suddenly on the set when I was shooting to me, oh, I just put this moment. It was not there in the script. Hmm. Uh, where I thought that he should start protecting her from the rain. Uh, what people in 1989 interpreted that was they were kissing under the thing. I didn't do it because it had become a different yeah. generation altogether. I just felt that she's getting wet and this whole thing of protecting her in the rain was getting them closer. Hmm. Which has been done a lot of times in the past with Raj Kapoor Sabha has done this right. with you know, getting you under the, the umbrella and umbrella. everything. It's a very classic trope. But I think that was it. That was just what represented the relationship and everything. And it became a poster. I think there was no two ways about that. Uh, but, you know, when you make but a did you film, shoot? Did you, sorry, did you shoot it like during shooting the film or was it like later on shot? No, no. They, they saw the stills from the, the, from okay. the shoot and hmm. they said, we have to do this only. Yeah. They said, yes, you've done a very <laughs> darker version of it because Ashik was all bright and white. Right. And I done in the middle of the night, in the middle of the traffic, you know. Yeah. But that was what the difference was over that Ashiki and this one. Mm. Uh, and, uh, you know, when it's just that, yeah, I just think that when you're making a film like that, I can't be, take credit for it at all, solo. Mm. Um, Ashiki is all of us. Uh, you know, it's what he contributed to the, that started the backbone of it. And then I went to him, he had done this once in the past for me, I said, make the theme. And he said, very good, easily, I'll make a very good theme. And he made a very good, I still remember we were sitting in the Visheshwam's office. He was making me hear the theme. Hmm. And it was very good. And it was perfect, it was the same notes. And Mukeshji came in and he said, what are you doing? So I said, this theme is made, because after the edit, I want the theme. So Mukeshji said, it's very good. Just play the keys softer. So I was like, softer means get volume down. Kar de. So then Nuthur said, no, 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 no. And he played it the way it is as the theme. So when you're making something, the heart, everyone just comes passing by. He was not even a part of it, but contributed so much. Right. When you're doing something right, people just either gets completely rejected or just completely, because you know, everyone was in that thing. You know, why Aditya? Everyone was like, why Aditya Roy Kapoor? But I saw something in him that I felt was right. And that's one been like I was talking to him right today and he's telling me people still are talking to me about the same thing or the Shraddha who, no matter what happens every 26th of April messages me thanking me for who she is and what she is today but she doesn't need to yeah. uh, but she does do that and then every 26th of April you know I'll get a call from Shraddha whether I'm in touch with her or not thanking me for being a part of it and from where she came uh, till today whenever she calls her photograph is still the same photograph which I took of hers in the plane when we had gone promoting that film. And you have to hear the story of promoting. It was just me, Shraddha and Adi. No security, no makeup, no entourage, nobody. We, in fact, Shraddha was going and getting ticketing done. We were sitting on the floor in Delhi. We preponed the release. And I have to tell you this one story. It's And it comes from what Tomiyo was. We, we got into the flight before the first show of the film was going to come out in public, which is at 11 o'clock. Hmm. And we were coming back from Chandir. And when we got onto the flight, we were regular people. In fact, I was the most popular person at that time. And we sat, it was an all economy flight. We were sitting in the front. And uh, the last night's trial response was very good. Everyone had called, so I was making fun of them. Y'all are going to become stars. And, both of them and that photograph I have of Shraddha is laughing over there and I still remember the show had started the first show hmm. or just gotten over I think or something like that and we had not got the last half an hour is left or whatever I promise you this that's the song and the film in a flight which has no telephone connection and cut off from the world I could see a difference in the crowd towards them I don't know how this happens. And the flight has landed and by the end of it, I still have that photograph, is I came down the steps and all the staff was clicking pictures with the actors who they were not recognizing before. I don't know how this happened. And I stood there, I said, wait there, wait there. And I took a picture like how an Ashiki stays down and he, and he takes a picture of them. 
that's when you're doing something so pure i think it just it, get, it goes viral as they say it's, mm. you don't longer need communication to spread the word that the film is doing well yeah someone must have called up the aerostis mother and singe picture dekhi and the cast is sitting with me wow and said that what a film and i can't stop crying she must have told someone else someone and the whole that's how the atmosphere changes and this is just how the song picked up i remember mm. so it's definitely all organic which I mean, is so I'm, important i must give bhushan ji this also i remember uh, but sab had worked with gulshan ji for for ashiki one and he had told after he got the album gulshan ji had told but sab that ye dekho ye music main uh ek hafte mein junglon mein ye gana ye gaane pahuncha dunga hmm gulshan ji told so but sab while giving the master there was this whole thing the master giving was a very yeah very sacred it's sacred process is when the producer hands over the music obviously he heard the music you know to when he was handing over the music but but sab said tumhare pita ne ye kaha tha कि एक हफ्ते में एक महीने में एक दैट वाज दैट मैं गाने हर जंगलों इंडिया के जंगलों में बजा तो भूषण जी सेट मैं एक हफ्ते में करूंगा देखो ऐसे गानों के साथ मैं एक हफ्ते में करूं ही वाज राइट इन 3 डेज इट हैपेंड ही प्रूव्ड इट इन 3 डेज भूषण जी हैड मेड श्योर द सॉन्ग वाज प्लेइंग एवरीवेयर एंड व्हेन आई कॉल्ड हिम अप एंड आई सेड थैंक यू ही सेड ये कैसे गाने बेचने में क्या प्रॉब्लम है ये तो हर जगह ही एक्चुअली सेड ही सेड यस ऐसा गाने तो मैं आराम से कर दूंगा सो and and everything like for example you know even when tulsi sang a song for the film hmm. it was not like she was demanding to be a it was more like i want to be a part of my father's legacy kind of thing hmm. it was not a there was there was there was too much purity in this whole the way the film hmm. was made it it in a way it was also yeah. an emotion it yeah, was yeah. just yeah. like you know not even just him, a film even for everyone so But i can't say it's mine or it's his <laughs> or it's when i traveled to the us for ifa that time also i spoke spoken to him so i was in the in the in the in the train in the us uh, and there were these indian people in the train you, it was so beautiful or men mujhse pehle they looked at my father and they said ki excuse me sir are you the man who came on stage for the ashiki to music award and that felt so good because that's what i wanted yeah. to do <laughs> yeah. they didn't notice me that i'm how was happy about that what a proud and you know moment. something ashiki 2 never released abroad hmm as in it was too small a film and it too pre pon the release we could not get theaters so that that's my most internationally famous film but that film has never released abroad officially guys this is so amazing so it's just it's just so when a film is and it's my most watched film they they watched it pirately <laughs> because that time there was no ott also but the fact is the people have watched the film yes. and they heard the music so i still every saturday night will get my drunk friends from all over the world sending me someone playing this song somewhere to me yeah to me oh in a karaoke every saturday but it, look at it it's been 10 years and we are we are celebrating the film the music and aane wale kai saalon mein jab bhi hum milenge ye ek iconic film rahegi jiski baatein so. jiske gaane hamesha yaadgar rahenge and thank you so much for that last question that i'd like to ask you all is What are the rumors about Ashiki Three? What is happening? Are you uh, part of are, it? We are. We are not a part of <laughs> it. Are you part of? <laughs> we both are not a part of it. We both are not a part of it, and I have no idea what the idea is. But hmm. at, at the moment, I am not working on it. I don't know whether he is. No, I am also not working on it. But this is necessary. I think we are definitely fans of the Ashiki brand. Yeah. You know, yeah. We are, and we were just talking about this day that hmm. you know we are very positive towards it, and we just wish them the best. Yeah. That's lovely. Thank you so much once again, guys, for creating history, for giving Arijit, Arijit Singh the name, the the fame, and just the love. And thank you for just everything. Thank you for this interview, my God. <laughs> <Not everything. laughs> so much. The no, list is so much. But thank you so much because this, you know, as I said, sometimes to go forward you have to go backwards again. Just hearing him play this music somewhere. I start feeling like that guy was coming to get music for him ten years back, and I'm missing that thing. So I think I need to do a live session with him with this song to start feeling like that person again. And I wouldn't be able to do it if this interview didn't happen today. I'm really glad. I'm really glad, and uh, all the very best to this relationship. May it grow and uh, just you. succeed. As long as he doesn't come up with any more hidden relationships <laughs> that he's done in the past. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching us on Bollywood Hangama. My name is Urmin, and I hope you all enjoyed this interview with Mohit Suri and Mithun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Hi, this is Mohit Suri. Hi, this is Mithun here. And you're watching us on Bollywood, Bollywood Hangama. Hangama.